Hi everyone, nice to catch you on another tutorial. In a previous tutorial, we saw how we could apply these labels manually or automate them to manage your inbox better and to segregate your emails. In this tutorial, we would be checking out how we could mark an email so that we could check it up later. So basically bookmark an email using Gmail. So let's say this flash sale email is an important email for me and I want to basically pin it or bookmark it. So simply what we would do is you just go near this star icon and click the star. And let's say after about maybe six months, maybe all the mails, it went down and you are now looking for you this email that you want. You can basically just go to start here and find that email you have start. So you can unstar it here once you no longer see it important, but you could make it star here and also there are other options as well this is a default option that gmail comes with you could add more icons to your bookmarking option you go to settings and you scroll a bit down and you see these stars so in use is this yellow star let's uh, pull the purple star there and also maybe this icon and also maybe this icon to do something like a checklist and uh, follow up and uh, maybe this question mark as well so I've dragged them in and now I will save my changes I'll come back to my inbox now if you could see if you keep clicking them you would see it keeps changing it works like a toggle switch and you can basically keep on adding different icons and all of them will still end up at the start section of your Gmail but just that within the start section you could now see Okay, let me add a star, let me add a purple star, let me add um, a green tick and let me add a question mark and let's go to start. You should be able to see all of them. So here they are, all the different segregations of your bookmark emails essentially. So hope that was useful and uh, hope you start using them and uh, you know, don't get lost in your emails. So catch you soon on another email. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment or feedback on this tutorial. Catch you next time. See you.